All right, guys, welcome to our informational interactive notebook number three. So far, you've worked on inferences, main idea, and today we're going to be working on connections. Connections is really similar to comparing and contrasting, but we're just comparing. We're not contrasting. So we have a informational text here about exploring in the past and today. So we've talked a lot about exploration this year. We talked about different explorers. You had your explorer activity, all that other fun stuff. Um, we're going to be reading a passage comparing modern day explorers and Christopher Columbus. Then you are going to have connections where you need or questions where you need to identify a connection or a comparison between two explorers and the different technology they used to help them explore. I'm going to read the passage to you, and then I'm going to ask you guys to answer the questions independently. All right, here we go. Exploration is important to our world as it gives us a glimpse into something unknown or yet undiscovered. It can be dangerous and exciting for explorers, finding something new to share with the rest of the world. Long ago, when there were actual continents to be discovered, exploring looks much different than today when computers, wireless signals, and GPS devices are used. Consider an explorer you are sure to have heard of, Christopher Columbus. Columbus set sail in 1492 from Spain in search of a direct route to Asia. He had a crew of 87 and three ships for his first voyage. He relied on maps from others and courage to go into uncharted territory. Along the way, he ran into the Americas, and the rest is, well, history. Since America and every other continent and island has long since been discovered, some may think that exploration is no longer happening. Modern exploration does look much different, but explorers are still making discoveries deep in the oceans and in space. Robert Ballard is a modern explorer who used a crew and technology like sonar systems and underwater mapping technology to be the first to find the submerged Titanic ship. No one had seen the ship in nearly a hundred years, and Ballard was able to show the world what it looks like now. There is even more to discover in the world, as long as there are curious explorers to find it. So boys and girls, you need to explain the connection between Christopher Columbus and Robert Ballard, and you need to explain the connection between modern technology and exploration. All right, that's it for my informational interactive notebook number three. Good luck.